So welcome back to the Question Blog Talk Radio Conversation, June 2nd edition. And we're going to be uh, looking at the news through the lens of the things that shouldn't be happening. The things that make you go, what? Like my wife saying to me, I think we should buy a large flat screen television set. So in the news today, some of these news stories that just make you say that that can't be right. A related story. Here's the headline. Study, colon. Well, we all know what it means by these studies. Like they did a study the other day that ducks actually uh, released a study the other day, multi-year study, that ducks actually like water. This study, TV can impair speech development of young children. No, (laughs) that that can't possibly be true. What if it was large flat screen television? Would that change things? Well, for those of us who who grew up uh, with educational television and and learning how to spell off of the television on Sesame Street and other such educational programs, learning how a bill becomes a law, learning about the function of a conjunction, we say to you, no, television is not bad for the development of speech. It, 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 It taught me everything I know. But here's what the study says. And again, you never know about these studies. Makes a little sense, though. A study released Monday adds to the debate over whether television impairs children's language development. The study finds that parents and children virtually stop talking to each other when the TV is on, even if they're in the same room. Well, see, this is the problem. We just got to teach people better television etiquette. For every hour in front of the TV, parents spoke 770 fewer words to their children. According to a study of 329 children ages two months to four years, in in the June issue of Archives of Pediatrics and Adolescent Medicine, that newsstand blockbuster, adults usually speak about 941 words an hour. Well, children vocalize less too, says the author of uh, of, of the study. In some cases, parents may have spoken less because they sat a child in front of the TV and left the room. That's that's what I did when I was a kid. In in others, parents simply zoned out themselves while watching TV with a child. Now, they go on to say parent interaction is really important, but maybe there's, maybe, look, I mean, I'm a big fan of TV, and yet, you know, guilty as charged. Guilty. Love it. But maybe you can actually learn something from the words being spoken on television. It j- These are just the news stories of things that just aren't true. Apparently the, uh, where are the folks over there at Blog Talk Radio? Some of you over on listening on the Blog Talk Radio, I got somebody in the chat room saying that they're having trouble hearing. Can somebody sort of fix that for them? Crack staff, can you jump on that? Um, uh, yes, you should be hearing something. This just shouldn't be that television is bad for kids. I mean, I mean, what's not, the, the other night I watched Bad News Bears with my son Chico, a show from 1976, a movie, and uh, you know it's what I watched when I was a kid. And I'll tell you, he learned some uh, he learned some language in that show. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Let me just say this: PG doesn't mean now what it meant in 1976, apparently. It's a uh, it's a whole different thing going on uh, going on over there. And again, could somebody uh, give a check over there in the uh, in the chat room and just uh, and just see where we're at, making sure that they uh, that the audio inputs and all are uh, are working over there. Pretty sure that they are. Here's a related story that just shouldn't be. The kind of headlines that you read and you say to yourself, that's like a guy's wife coming home from a natural health retreat and saying we should buy a large screen TV. Headline, Dick Cheney favors gay marriage. (laughs) Love it. But he believes that states should make the decision, not the federal government. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't think that's what most of the conservatives, most of the hardcore Republicans who would be all about Cheney would say. 
they would say we should pass a constitutional amendment. Here's the headlines that just make you say, what is going on? Dick Cheney, of course, favors gay marriage. Now, this is not news to any of us who pay attention to the news things. It's all the news that Dick Cheney's daughter is gay and she has a life partner and they uh, they think they should be married. Of course they should. His point is, look, look, freedom is freedom. That's 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 all there is to it. Couldn't agree more. How about this? Churches get out of the marriage business. Stay in the business of Unions between two people that are between them and God. And and call it whatever we want. Go ahead and call it marriage. Just stay out of the legal marriage business. That's what we ought to do. But news headlines that ring your bell. TV, bad for kids. Wife saying we should buy a large screen television. Dick Cheney supporting gay marriage. What a world we live in. I mean, people, this is this is just down right silliness next news story and and look folks feel free feel free to comment in on any of these if you'd like to call in on the show i'd love to have you 646-929-1199 poor woman's uh poor legacy one is having a little trouble over there Uh, legacy one i think your issue just might be you need to refresh your browser if you're over there at the blog talk radio site because it's going to be working just fine News story that just makes you say, really? A poll. Most Americans oppose closing Guantanamo Bay detainee facility. Really? By more than a two-to-one margin. By more than three-to-one, they oppose uh, moving those people into the United States somewhere. They're going to close it anyway because the president said he would. And because it just has a sign of all kinds of bad things. Well, what they need to do is just build another one of those things somewhere, right? Just come up with another one somewhere. But it's just a confusing world that we live in. And folks, we're going to go to a little break brought to you by the Onion Radio Network. And I'm hoping that the audio is going to work okay on this. You're just going to have to sort of stick with me. This is uh, news updates. Conversation called the question brought to you by... The Onion Radio Network. An elk majestically tramples three. It's the Onion Radio News. This is Doyle Redland reporting. Park rangers report.